So I think that the uh, issue that the local people in the Delta region of Tamil Nadu are justified in being anxious and upset about the hydrocarbon extraction proposals in the Delta region. Uh, the reason why their anxiety is justified is because of the past track record of ONGC and other players who have been operating uh, hydrocarbon extraction wells and pipelines and uh, facilities for uh, effluent treatment and uh, refinery etc. The overall experience has been that this has been done with absolutely no regard for the environment and has been done to the detriment of the environment. The fact that ONGC does not have any regard for law or for the environment is evident from the fact that all its operations in the Delta as of 2018 we had conducted a six month long RTI campaign to get information about licenses that have been obtained or not obtained by ONGC for its oil installations in the Delta. And uh, we applied uh, through RTI and looked at public sources with the Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board. We find that the Pollution Control Board has records of 219 hydrocarbon wells in all the districts of the Delta. And out of which the Pollution Control Board believes that 71 are in operation. Out of the 71, only 8 have been issued a license at some point. Those licenses have long since expired, which means that as on the date that they gave us the information, 71 out of 71 wells had no license and 219 wells have no license. On the other hand, the ONGC uh, claims that it is not 71 wells they are operating, they are operating 183 wells. So they are operating wells that the Pollution Control Board is not even aware of. And if they are not aware of it, then they can't give a license, which means all of ONGC's wells in the Delta region were operating without a license. Uh, that might just be a technical issue, but there's also very strong material consequences of that kind of irresponsible operation. There have been numerous leaks of oil, that's oil spills. There have been explosions and fire. There have been illegal wells that have been dug. And so as a result of this, I mean, if you look at just between 2011 and 2018, we have recorded at least seven major dangerous incidents, roughly one a year. Um, so if you look at the year 2017, which is particularly problematic, in June they had oil leak, a major oil leak in Kadira Mangalam. Then they had an oil leak in Matri Mangalam. Then they had another fire in Pudukkote. So about four incidents just in that one year. Uh, similarly, in 2012, there was another incident in a place called Ane Mangalam. And uh, there was again a massive oil spill and the spill contaminated uh, farmland. The Central Pollution Control Board came and visited and said that it looks like the ONGC does not have a disaster management plan. So this is not some villager saying it. It is a country's topmost scientific body, which is a Central Pollution Control Board that has said that the ONGC does not have a credible disaster management plan. So for ONGC to first of all tell people that it is running a clean operation is a lie in the face of the facts. ONGC claims to have dug about 700 wells and when you dig a well there are very high possibilities that your well will contaminate the groundwater surrounding groundwater with toxins that come out of the oil well. There is no clear indication of what is the extent of damage. We hear of stories from Tiruvarur, from Nannilam, from Vepangudi, from different parts of from uh, Mematur. We hear from different parts of the Delta region that water has turned black, that there is rotten egg smell, that there is a, you know the there are, that there are blackish floating things inside the water. Uh, the water table has gone down and the water quality has changed. Another problem that people have been talking about is the constant flare. So the excess gas that they are not able to pipe to somewhere else, they set it on fire by using flare towers. So those, ta those flares are burning 24-7, 365 days a year. And that of course causes tremendous air pollution in the local region. But local people are also saying that in places where there are clusters of these kinds of flares, the monsoon rains don't. So there is a small little dry zone just in the area where the flares are. And they say that it doesn't rain in those areas. Another problem they talked about is that there are no insects. And insects are very important for pollination. This is an agricultural area. And the insects get attracted to the fire and they die. So you have throughout the day, the fires are burning. So there's a range of impacts. 
But then in order to identify what is the extent and the nature of impacts, you need an honest agency to be able to do um, a credible study. But honesty is in short supply, both with, N, uh, both with ONGC and with TNPCB. Thank you.